Yo guys, what is going on? Nickname is just yellow and uh, today this Norwegian hardcore PC gamer is gonna make a video about how to increase your colors for your computer and with that I mean everything that you're doing on your PC. If what you're looking at right now with your monitor, your main monitor I would assume, um, or anything else, you know, games you're playing, documents you're browsing, uh, or just, uh, I guess technically speaking, also how you're editing colors and stuff like that, or if you have like one monitor with a certain kind of way of how the colors are shown and then you have another one and you want both to match. Uh, I'm in that kind of case scenario but also I'm playing Counter-Strike a lot and so I find it very valuable to be able to get that red little pitch when you, whenever you hit the enemy um, to be 100% sure you hit him. Uh, actually watching you hit him, uh, you know there comes red blood out of the fucking target you hit. Uh, seeing that red color properly that is gonna be very valuable. Of, of, you know there's Obviously, this is going to be across the entire board for any other eSport game. I guess it can be moderately useful, but also nice to just look at. So, with that being said, now I'm going to go through an example for people who might have a color disability, etc. So that you will get a proper picture of how we can be able to better these things by going into the graphics drivers and changing a lot of different things. I'm going to show you it, so we can just go here on my keyboard, or I mean desktop and uh, I'll do some uh, editing with the colors that you get to see right here all right so I'll just remove my little overlay crap there um so what we got right here is a complete spectrum so for people who might not be able to see exactly what you're looking at properly as me with perfect color vision is currently watching let's uh, make that white all right so in the middle in the middle right here we got a very solid red color then this is more orange this is like orange yellowish then it's starting to uh, hit to lime then more solid green a little bit more different kind of green into a color that I'm just I don't reach and I don't know what the fuck you call it then on the right side here we got some uh, I guess it's good to call it pink yellow ish or something like it's tinting towards the the um, the purple area a little bit more here's a little bit more solid of that here we got proper purple so this is like you know in between whatever uh, then it becomes proper purple is that's more pink I would say uh, all right and here we got more blue-ish, blue-purple, then we got solid blue, then we got more light blue, and then this one right here is similar to the one all the way to the left right there, alright? So now when you know the entire spectrum of what we're dealing with, you can do a lot of stuff in your graphics drivers uh, to change all of these colors that you're looking at right here in order to be able to make it look a lot more solid or more proper or thorough, alright? So if you're playing in dark environments, colorful environments with dark nuances, etc., you can be able to bring out a lot more detail or you, you can Make the colors of the different nuances more clear to your eyes uh, whether or not we're talking about black and white if we're talking about just more strong colors or different colors not kidding all right all of these colors you're watching right here we can actually drag the nuances to the left or right so that we can change it up so i'm gonna go now on colors and is it uh, i always pick the wrong one i every time i pick the wrong one it's so stupid but yeah here we go so um, actually, I think I should have it up there. Yeah, okay. Um, so here we got a little uh, changing wheel right here. And these settings, the kind of similar ones you can find in the graphics drivers. Sadly, I do not own a, a an NVIDIA card, so I can't show it on NVIDIA. But you probably should have the same if you have the proper uh, GPU drivers for your machine. Uh, obviously, this do require a proper graphics card. Uh, that goes without saying. Um, but uh, for my PC, I only have an AMD graphics card. I might upgrade soon, but whatever. So I'm going to go through the AMD part at least. If you look a little bit around, you might be able to find some uh, some uh, equal adjustments in your uh, Nvidia stuff. So this is essentially what you can do right here. Um, the hue of the different colors that you can see on your screen, you can change. So I'm dragging this one to the left right here. As you can see, it will move to the left, the red color, which is where in the middle. And as you pull it to the right, it will be right, all right? So what this means is that if you have a couple of uh, severe color disabilities, etc., you can actually change stuff uh, to, you know, the directions in which what you need to see in the game, it can become more clear or less clear. That all depends on what you want to go for or what works better for your monitor and you yourself. Um, disregarding that, though, there's still all the kind of ways in which you can already transform what you have from before. Um, you can uh, increase or decrease the lightness of the colors in which, um, depending on the quality, as you can see, it can look pretty fucking rough. Uh, obviously, in-game it looks a little bit better. 
Um, yeah, uh, the saturation for the colors as well will matter a lot. Uh, taking the saturation all the way to the left makes it look black and white. Okay, taking it all the way to the right will make it look so much better. Increasing the brightness a little bit with that might actually make it even better for people, or actually just combining the lightness and the saturation, it can increase so much more, uh, like, the playability of games to people. Um, also combining that with higher texture, so just higher level, high end, very high, whatever kind of game uh, setting will allow you to put it to the highest, that can actually give you enough detail, so that you can be able to identify targets and objects even better. So, that is actually something to look into. Personally, though, I'm running a 144Hz monitor on my main, and 77 on my left one here, uh, on my main monitor. Um, things work a little bit differently, all right? Uh, because of how the hertz rate is faster, I actually get more light shown to my eyes, making everything I'm looking on my 144 hertz monitor even brighter. So what I'm doing, uh, because of my monitor, like, my, my vision is perfectly fine. Uh, I'm actually taking the brightness lower, but then increasing the saturation. Now keep in mind, here it goes from 0 to, like, 100. It's actually a lot more strong when you're doing it on uh, in the driver. So now I'm actually going to try and show you people my monitor, and I'm going to keep this colored picture up right here, which, uh, let's see here, maybe we should actually transform it, that would be better. Would make for a uh, an even uh, more solid uh, kind of example. So it's user saturation, is it? So I'm going to take the saturation, pull it to 100, all right? So now the picture is moderately strong colored. And now I'm going to show you how you can just change it, and I'm going to give you a live example. So MDCCC, got to load up. And now we are in here, where you want to go is um, the tab above video. You want to go to my digital flat panels. Um, now you just want to find the display color. That, that uh, Something similar to that one will probably have the adjustments you're looking for. And uh, now there will be two monitors for me because I have two plugged into my computer that you can choose uh, from. Uh, keep in mind that this is purely digital. You, only you can see it. If you're taking a screenshot of your monitor, it will look... Um, just like what it would look uh, before you do the changes, okay? So it's kind of weird, I guess you could say. And by the way, this will not trigger any VAC bans or whatever the hell for CSGO. So it's, it's completely safe and a couple of professional players, they tweak a little bit on the colors almost every time. Uh, typical players who especially does it is gonna be, um, let, let's see, let's see, Shroud from C9 and... Um, Adrian, yeah, those two players you can see visibly when they're streaming that they do this. So, um, now I chose my monitor of choice, and here you can see a color uh, correction. Uh, you can uh, move the hue around. Um, yeah, actually, I should try and change out my monitor. This is gonna be really messy for my desk, but I don't really give a shit. Alright, so, let's see if we can, can, can make it so that you people get to see uh, my monitor on the webcam right here. Alright, and then we, uh, oh my god, this is so fucking weird. This is so fucking weird. It's so shiny as well, can you see that? Alright, so you can barely see the coloring. Fuck me, dude. How the hell am I supposed to do this? Well, this is what I'm dealing with, by the way. Okay, oh my god. How the fuck am I supposed to navigate around this? Oh my god. Okay, whatever. I I'm doing it. I'm doing it. As right, so you can barely see the little color thing right there. It increases and decreases. All right, that's because of how what you see is getting changed. But, okay, let let's reset that, baby. And then you can also take the hue, which now will change around. You can see it changing vaguely. That so that's all right, I guess. Uh, what else? Uh, brightness. You can obviously increase and decrease the brightness. Here you can see the big changes, right? This is why I'm taking it downward. So it all depends on your preference to your eyes, to be to be honest. Then the contrast right here. Uh, let's reset all of them so it looks decent, I guess. I, I can take that down the brightness for now. All right, so contrast here you can see. Also, co changing contrast will just screw with your monitor so much. But it all depends on your preference. So hopefully that made things for you uh, a little bit more clear. Let's change it right here. <sighs> Back to back to basic, I guess you could say. So yeah, people just toy around with this. Make uh, make sure that you find something that you you make work for you, and just play with it a lot. See what will benefit you the more, and hopefully this stuff here will help it out better for you, so that you can be able to play video games better. So that was all I had for you people today. So if you enjoyed this video, and if you are into Counter Strike, you should probably check out this channel more, because that is what I'm basing stuff around. And universally, there's a lot of stuff here that you can take all over to other games, obviously, so that you can be able to wreck people there even better and have a nice one you know just have a nice time gaming time so anyways thanks for watching support is greatly appreciated especially your patreons even though again any support that you decide to do is just absolutely phenomenal so anyways thanks for watching have a nice day and don't get peace to fight when you play